For practically as long as there have been video games, there have been video game secrets. Players have been hitting walls, jumping down holes, and sometimes just mashing buttons hoping to find something special. Over the years, this video game signature feature has become more fully implemented. Secrets evolved to provide more satisfying rewards. These are the secrets that made it past you and made you say, wait, what? When you finally heard about them. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are 10 video game secrets everyone knows except you. Number 10, Chain Boosting, Crash Bandicoot. Some people would call the Crash Team Racing series a simple knockoff of Mario Kart. Those people, though, would be wrong. In fact, much like the original Crash Bandicoot platformers, the game can be downright brutal, especially competitively. Play online and you'll notice that you're getting absolutely smoked by everyone else. You're not even coming close, and they all have this blue fire trailing behind them. The reason for that is chain boosting, an advanced, difficult to master technique that's practically required for high level play. By chaining skills together, you can build up an escalating speed boost of varying color, the fastest of which is blue. From there, you can continuously chain together any speed boosting elements such as turbo pads and turbo power up, and you can maintain the blue boost indefinitely. But don't expect the game to give you any help. It's something you have to learn and master for yourself. Number 9. Duplicating Remembrances – Elden Ring like any Souls game, Elden Ring doesn't bother explaining much to you. And also like any Souls game, it's packed with secrets. So many, they're still being discovered by persistent players. But one of the most powerful things you might not know about is how to duplicate one of the game's most powerful items, Remembrances. Remembrances are only dropped by bosses and can be traded for one of a selection of items. Choosing the best one is a bit of a gamble. Fortunately, you can choose two if you know this trick. The first thing you'll need to do is find a wandering mausoleum. Don't worry, you'll probably know it when you see it. Just listen for the telltale sound of a church bell in the distance. Hack away at its legs a little to make the poor big guy take a little tumble, and from there you can climb on up and find an altar that will let you duplicate any remembrance you wish. But you should still choose cautiously, as each altar can only be used once, and there are more bosses than there are mausoleums. So choose well, Tarnished. Number 8. Crystal Flash – Super Metroid The Metroid series has always been a game of exploration first. Most of the abilities and upgrades you acquire over the course of playing are geared towards progressing through the world more so than they are for combat. So it's no surprise that the games also have their fair share of secret mechanics. But the self-healing Crystal Flash in Super Metroid is by far the least likely to find without a friend or your trusty copy of Nintendo Power to clue you in. It costs a not insignificant amount of ammo, can't be used if you have any full energy reserve tanks, and can only be used at less than 50 health. But by entering Morph Ball mode, selecting power bombs, holding down the fire button, and then pressing L R and down on the D-pad simultaneously, you can get Samus out of a real pinch if you need to. Needless to say, this is the kind of thing you could only discover through button mashing and a lot of luck. And while the cost is high, the huge amount of health you recover is literally a lifesaver in an emergency. Number 7. Trick Enemies with Cassettes – Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain Metal Gear and Death Stranding creator Hideo Kojima has never been shy about loading his games up with secret mechanics. But one seemingly small joke in Metal Gear Solid V turns out to have actual tactical applications. I'm talking about the sound effect tapes. Throughout the game are numerous hidden cassettes featuring some of the greatest hits of the 80s. Most players thought them out eagerly and sometimes wound up disappointed to find that what they thought was a new song was actually just a tape of sound effects. Kojima trolling us again. But these tapes actually have a use. If you're hiding in the bush and a suspicious guard saunters over, you can play any of the animal sound effects to cancel his suspicious state. Likewise, if the same happens when you're in a toilet stall, you can play the, um, how should we say this, stomach ache sounds to convince him he's better off not knowing what's going on in there. So if you're ever in a deep espionage situation, don't forget that tape of Halloween sound effects you had as a kid, because it might just save your life. Number 6. Use HTML to give your crafted weapons a little pizzazz – Fallout 4 
One of Fallout 4's better mechanics is the weapon and armor customization. The game provides a generous amount of interchangeable parts that can be liberally mixed and matched. This not only allows you to tailor a weapon to your preferences, but also mixes up the loot you'll find. Add in the game's random legendary weapons with their own unique effects, maybe a new paint job, now you got a piece that just screams you. Even better, you can name your new weapon, truly making it your own. To NPCs, you're the boss character with the unique item drop. But did you know you can further customize the name with a couple of basic HTML tags? Yes, by adding the appropriate code, you can have the name underlined, bold, or in italics. So that's pretty neat. Look, we never said these would all be useful secrets. Number five, Shield Surfing, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild was a throwback to the legendary franchise's infancy. A giant open world with little in the way of direction, it was naturally also packed with secrets for players to discover. But by far the coolest of these, and the least practical, was shield surfing. To participate, the first thing you're gonna need is a shield, obviously. Now go to the top of the biggest hill you can find. Finally, use the left trigger to raise the shield, then X to jump, then A in midair. Link will land feet planted on his shield and now all that's left to do is perform sick tricks by using the analog stick and the X button. Link can even fire arrows while surfing, but this is unwieldy and impractical to say the least. And yes, there is a side quest that teaches you to do it, but it's so far out into the mountains you'd really have to go out of your way exploring to even find it. Number 4. Wave Dash – Super Smash Bros. Melee the first time you saw a wave dash was probably when you were getting your butt handed to you in what started as a friendly game of Super Smash Bros. Melee. Fast forward to the competitive Smash Bros. scene and the question everyone wanted to know, was it fair game to exploit what is essentially a glitch? Now synonymous with the Smash Bros. brand, wave dashing was a completely unintentional gameplay mechanic. By repeatedly and rapidly jumping then dodging to the ground, the game created the illusion that you were sliding around the arena like Sonic on ice skates. This allows you to be the most obnoxious hit and run fighter, as you can wave dash in, get a hit, then wave dash out before your opponent's attack animation could even complete. It took quick fingers and a good amount of practice to use it effectively, but the wave dash quickly became a necessity if you wanted to play competitively. It's gone through a few different iterations over the years after being embraced by Nintendo, and it no longer feels quite so exploitative, but rarely does a secret game quirk become such an iconic mechanic. Number 3. Melee Boost – No Man's Sky By now we all know how No Man's Sky has gone above and beyond making up for its shortcomings upon release. Now we have vehicles and mounts to traverse a planet's terrain, making it much less of a slog to explore a planet. But until you reach that point in the game, on-foot travel is still a slow and tedious chore. This goes double if you're exploring a hazardous planet. Your health is rapidly draining, you're short on shield batteries and life gel, there's a cave just ahead of you but you can already tell you're not gonna make it if only you were faster. That's where this handy little trick comes in. By using your melee attack and then immediately following up with your jetpack, you'll boost forward at a breakneck speed. This does drain your jetpack quickly, but alternating between sprinting and the melee boost is your best bet to get anywhere fast. Just make sure you look before you leap. Number 2. Kill Undead by Casting Life Final Fantasy Series like most RPGs, the Final Fantasy series has a rock-paper-scissors style of elemental weaknesses. You can usually count on fiery enemies to be weak to ice, robotic enemies to be especially sensitive to electricity, and undead enemies especially flammable. It's the dry skin. And yet rarely are you taught that undead enemies have a much more significant weakness, healing magic and items. After all, if a spell heals the living, then it stands to reason that it would unheal the dead. And if it resurrects your party, then it also makes sense that it would kill a dead thing even more. Okay doesn't necessarily make a ton of sense, but you can't deny there's a certain logic to it. What's even better is that many undead bosses throughout the series are just as susceptible to death by life as your average zombie grunt. To the undead, your white mage might as well be a walking nuke. Number 1. Mobile Stash – Cyberpunk 2077 
You know how it is you're running around questing in a big open world RPG. You find an epic piece of loot, but it's a bit out of your league, meaning you lack the stat requirements to wield it. Since it's only taking up inventory space for now, you go back to your main hub and drop it in your convenience stash. And then after a couple hours of leveling, ding ding ding, you finally pump that stat up to the minimum you need for that shiny new weapon. Too bad you have to stop what you're doing and go all the way back to your stash just to equip it, then go back to the task at hand. Add double annoyance if fast travel points aren't conveniently located. But Cyberpunk 2077 makes that minor inconvenience a thing of the past, as your car's trunk allows you to access your stash from almost anywhere you want. There's nothing quite like the sheer convenience of being able to pull right up to the door of a building full of techno thugs and swap out any equipment you might need. And no need to worry about those pesky carry limits anymore. That's the end of our list, but do let me know down in that comment box if you can think of any other video game secrets that you reckon everyone knew before you did. As always, I've been Jess from What Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like, you can come say hi to me on my Twitter account where I'm at JessMcDonald, but make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more gaming goodness.